an engine so simple it seemed outdated before it was even built. The Deutz F3L912 looked like something from a bygone era when it debuted in the 1960s. Three cylinders, air-cooled, no fancy electronics. While competitors raced toward complexity and power, this unassuming German engine went the opposite direction. It chose simplicity. And somehow, that choice made it unstoppable. Today, you'll find F3L912 engines humming away in remote corners of the world, powering everything from irrigation pumps in rural Africa to fishing boats in the North Sea. Many have been running for decades without major repairs, outlasting the machines they were originally installed in. So how did this air-cooled throwback become the secret backbone of industries worldwide? Why did professionals choose it over more powerful, sophisticated alternatives? The answer lies in a philosophy that sounds revolutionary today. In a world obsessed with doing more, Deutz dared to do less. The Deutz F3L912 wasn't born in a boardroom filled with marketing executives or sketched during a brainstorming session about the future of engines. It emerged from the practical reality of post-war Germany, where reliability mattered more than flash and simplicity was a virtue born of necessity. Deutz had been perfecting engine technology since 1864, making them the world's oldest engine manufacturer. They had witnessed the rise and fall of countless automotive trends, survived two world wars, and learned hard lessons about what really mattered when the chips were down. By the 1960s, while American manufacturers were chasing horsepower numbers and European competitors were adding complexity, Deutz engineers were asking a different question entirely. What if we made an engine that simply refused to quit? The F3L912 was their answer. Three cylinders arranged in a compact inline configuration, air-cooled to eliminate the complexity of radiators and cooling systems and built with tolerances that seemed almost wasteful in their robustness. Each component was designed not for peak performance, but for decades of reliable service in conditions that would kill more sophisticated engines. This wasn't about creating the most powerful engine or the most fuel-efficient one. This was about creating an engine that would start every morning, run all day, and do it again tomorrow without complaint. In the agricultural markets of Europe, where downtime during harvest could mean financial disaster, this philosophy wasn't just appealing, it was revolutionary. The magic was in what Deutz chose not to include. By the early 1970s, the F3L912 had found its calling, and the world took notice. This wasn't just another engine competing in the marketplace, it was quietly redefining what success looked like in the industrial world. Farmers discovered they could operate F3L912 powered tractors in conditions that would sideline water-cooled competitors. No frozen radiators during harsh winters, no overheating during summer harvest marathons, no coolant leaks in remote fields. The distinctive air-cooled rumble became the soundtrack of agricultural reliability across Europe, then spread globally as word traveled. Construction crews embraced the engine for similar reasons. Concrete mixers, compressors, and generators powered by the F3L912 could work in desert heat or Arctic cold with equal determination. Site supervisors learned that equipment with the German three-cylinder rarely needed the mechanic, translating directly to project schedules met and budgets preserved. But the real breakthrough came in marine applications. Fishing boats operating in harsh North Sea conditions found that the F3L912 could handle saltwater spray, temperature extremes, and the constant vibration that killed more delicate engines. Commercial operators discovered they could run these engines for thousands of hours with basic maintenance, often outlasting the boats themselves. The engine wasn't winning through superior power or cutting-edge technology, it was winning through something far more valuable in the real world, absolute dependability. The F3L912 had become the Volkswagen Beetle of engines, proving that sometimes the tortoise really does beat the hare. What made the F3L912 so remarkably reliable wasn't magic. It was methodical German engineering applied with surgical precision. Every design decision was made with a single question in mind. How do we eliminate potential failure points? The air cooling system was the engine's masterstroke. While competitors struggled with complex radiator networks, 
coolant pumps, and temperature sensors, the F3L912 simply used ambient air flowing over finned cylinders. No antifreeze to leak, no water pumps to fail, no thermostats to stick. The engine could operate in temperatures from minus 40 to plus 50 degrees Celsius without missing a beat. The three-cylinder configuration wasn't chosen for smoothness or refinement. It was chosen for mechanical simplicity and perfect balance between power and reliability. Each cylinder displaced 912 cubic centimeters, giving the engine its name and providing enough torque for serious work while maintaining manageable stress levels on internal components. Deutz engineers built the F3L912 with what seemed like excessive tolerances. Bearing clearances were generous, oil passages were oversized, and critical components were massively over-engineered. What looked like waste to accountants was actually insurance against the real world. Dirt, contaminated oil, missed maintenance intervals, operator abuse, the F3L912 absorbed it all and kept running. The fuel injection system used mechanical simplicity rather than electronic complexity. A single injection pump, robust injectors, and basic timing mechanisms that a village mechanic could understand and repair. This wasn't cutting-edge technology, it was bulletproof technology. By the late 1980s, the very qualities that made the F3L912 a champion were starting to become liabilities. The world was changing, and for the first time in its career, the reliable German workhorse found itself swimming against an increasingly powerful current. Environmental regulations were tightening across Europe and North America. The Clean Air Act amendments and emerging EU emissions standards weren't written with air-cooled engines in mind. The F3L912's combustion characteristics, optimized for reliability and durability, struggled to meet the new requirements for particulate matter and NOx emissions. What had been acceptable in 1970 was becoming problematic in 1990. Fuel efficiency demands were escalating as diesel prices climbed. Fleet operators who had once prioritized reliability above all else were now running sophisticated total cost of ownership calculations. The F3L912's generous tolerances and air cooling system, while bulletproof, consumed more fuel per horsepower than newer water-cooled designs with tighter manufacturing precision. Perhaps most challenging was the sophistication revolution. Customers were beginning to expect electronic engine management, diagnostic capabilities, and integration with computerized equipment systems. The F3L912's purely mechanical nature, once its greatest strength, now seemed antiquated to buyers who wanted data logging, performance monitoring, and automated controls. Competitors weren't standing still either. Water-cooled engines had become dramatically more reliable through improved materials and manufacturing techniques. The reliability gap that had once been the F3L912's moat was rapidly narrowing while the performance and efficiency advantages of newer designs continued to widen. Deutz found themselves facing an impossible choice in the mid-1990s. They could either fundamentally transform their most successful engine, potentially destroying what made it special, or watch it slowly become obsolete in an increasingly demanding marketplace. The company's first attempts at modernization were cautious. They introduced turbocharged variants of the F3L912, hoping to boost power density without compromising the core architecture. The results were mixed. While the turbocharged versions produced more horsepower, they also introduced complexity that went against the engine's fundamental philosophy. Turbochargers meant more components to fail, more sophisticated lubrication requirements, and higher operating temperatures that stressed the air cooling system. Electronic fuel injection experiments followed, but integrating modern engine management systems with the F3L912's mechanical foundation proved challenging. The engine had been designed for simplicity, and every electronic addition felt like a compromise. Fleet operators who had chosen Deutz specifically for mechanical reliability found themselves dealing with sensors, wiring harnesses, and diagnostic computers. Meanwhile, Deutz was quietly developing their TCD series of water-cooled engines, incorporating decades of lessons learned from the F3L912's success. These new engines promised to deliver similar reliability through modern engineering rather than brute force simplicity. 
advanced metallurgy, precise manufacturing tolerances, and sophisticated electronic controls could potentially match the F3L912's legendary durability while meeting contemporary emissions and efficiency standards. The writing was on the wall. Major OEM customers were already requesting more powerful, cleaner engines for their next-generation equipment. Agricultural manufacturers needed engines that could integrate with GPS guidance systems and automated controls. Construction equipment demanded the power-to-weight ratios that only water-cooled designs could provide. By 2000, Deutz had made their decision. The F3L912 would continue in specialized applications, but the future belonged to their new generation of sophisticated engines. The age of magnificent simplicity was ending. Here's the remarkable thing about the Deutz F3L912. Reports of its death have been greatly exaggerated. While Deutz officially transitioned their focus to more sophisticated engines, the F3L912 refused to quietly fade into history. Instead, it found new life in the corners of the world where reliability still trumps sophistication. Walk through any developing nation today, and you'll hear that distinctive air-cooled rumble echoing from irrigation systems, fishing boats, and emergency generators. In remote locations where the nearest Deutz dealer might be hundreds of miles away, the F3L912's mechanical simplicity remains its greatest asset. Local mechanics who've never seen a diagnostic computer can still rebuild these engines with basic tools and genuine understanding of mechanical systems. The marine industry, particularly commercial fishing, has remained remarkably loyal to the F3L912. Salt water and electronic engine management systems don't mix well, but the German three-cylinder continues to power fishing fleets from the North Sea to the South Pacific. These engines regularly accumulate 15,000 to 20,000 operating hours, equivalent to nearly a million miles in automotive terms, with nothing more than routine maintenance. Emergency generator applications have become another stronghold. Hospitals, data centers, and critical infrastructure facilities have discovered that when the power goes out, they don't want complexity, they want certainty. The F3L912's ability to start reliably after months of standby service and run continuously for days without attention makes it invaluable for backup power systems. Perhaps most surprisingly, the F3L912 has influenced modern engine design in unexpected ways. As contemporary engines become increasingly complex, some manufacturers are rediscovering the value of mechanical robustness. The pendulum is swinging back toward designs that prioritize field serviceability and long-term durability over peak performance specifications. The engine that seemed destined for obsolescence has instead become timeless, so what do you think? In our world of smart everything and digital complexity, is there still wisdom in the F3L912's philosophy of magnificent simplicity? Let us know below and subscribe for more engineering stories that change the world.